Hey there, movie lovers. Welcome back to the channel where we dissect films with the precision of a ninja defusing a bomb. Today, we're plunging into the abyss of Mission, Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1. It's got spies, it's got intrigue, and it's got more plot twists than a telenovela on steroids. So grab your popcorn and let's dive in. Now, picture this, Tom Cruise, aka the man who never ages, is back as Ethan Hunt. He's chilling at home, probably doing his own stunts in the living room, when a rookie IMF agent drops by disguised as a food delivery person. Forget pizza delivery, this guy brings life-altering missions with your pepperoni. So, our hero Ethan gets a mission log and, surprise, it involves a key. Not your regular door key, this one's a high-tech cross-shaped thingamajig that's split in two. It's like the universe's way of saying, unlock the secrets, or let chaos reign. No pressure, Ethan. Now, let's fast forward to a desert in Namibia. Because nothing says secret mission like a good old sandstone chase, right? Ethan decides to confront a rogue agent, Ilsa Faust, and suddenly we're in the middle of a high-speed pursuit on horseback. Forget the Batmobile, we've got secret agents on horses. Now, let's talk about the real MVP of this film, The Entity. It's not your ordinary computer, it's like the love child of Siri and Skynet. The IMF team discovers this thing is self-learning, sentient, and probably knows more about us than our therapists do. But hey, let's try to control it because, you know, what could go wrong? Fast forward to an airport in Abu Dhabi, where Ethan and the gang are on a mission. And let me tell you, this is not your typical airport security line. Nope, it involves a tricky game of deception, misdirection, and probably some confused tourists wondering if this is the new TSA protocol. Next stop, Rome. The city of love, but for Ethan Hunt, it's more like the city of running, chasing, and trying not to get killed. Our hero chases a mysterious woman, Grace, through the ancient streets. Because nothing says romantic like a good old cat and mouse chase through historic landmarks. Now, imagine a swanky party in Venice, where secrets are spilled. Alliances are formed, and the plot thickens faster than Grandma's gravy. We meet White Widow, a character with a name so intriguing, it sounds like a spy themed perfume. Ethan has a rendezvous with Gabriel, a mysterious man who appears to vanish into thin air, probably using Houdini's disappearing act. And now, let's talk about the piece de resistance, the epic train sequence. Masks, double crosses, and a bomb with riddles, because nothing says tense like solving a puzzle while hurtling towards impending doom on a speeding train. Oh, and did I mention Gabriel's got a thing for stabbing people? It's like a train ride from hell, and you're all invited. Just when you think the roller coaster is slowing down, BM. Twist time. Ethan, the master of switcheroos, pulls off a bait and switch with the key. Gabriel's screaming, Kittredge is teasing, and we're left hanging on the edge of our seats. The next mission involves finding the Sevastopol, and you know it's going to be a wild ride. So, there you have it, Mission, Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. A cocktail of espionage, action, and enough mask reveals to make even the Phantom of the Opera jealous. If you enjoyed this breakdown, folks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and ring that bell to stay in the loop for more reviews that are as unpredictable as Ethan Hunt's choice in hairstyles. Until next time, stay cinematic, my friends.